And now, since we are talking about lasers, let's talk about clacks. And we're going to have Dr. Kazoo himself, one of the developers of this very technique, telling us about the long-term outcomes after clacks. Dr. Kazoo, please. Well, I'm going to talk about what we have been doing and uh, long term, about the long term outcomes that we can get. Let's, uh, let's start by telling a story. This patient showed up uh, to evaluation. She had no uh, good result with, uh, on her legs. And then she decided to come to us to try, solu to try to find a solution. But she, after explaining examination and so on, she said, oh, too expensive, thank you, but no. Well, long, short, long story short, after that, uh, she spent her summer with the legs with full of varicosities, and she came back after carnival. Okay, I need your help. Well, I redesigned the score 9 1 on the f opposite way, like beginning on the one on the top, like our cellular phone keyboard. And to evaluate one patient, we need first to evaluate if there are feeder, uh, spider veins or not, and if those spider veins are complex. And uh, if you are a painter and you are hired to paint this wall, it's different if the wall is white on the right, like here, or if you have, uh, or if you have infiltration. That means you need to find where this water is coming from. Where are the feeder veins? The new score 91 then is designed as the, the first line is the less uh, disease, where, where you have a, a smaller disease, where you have only uh, smaller veins. That means those are the first line are all, there are no varicosities. On the second line, there are varicosities up to 1.5 millimeters in diameter. That's another uh, different point of view of the score 91. I decided to say that the second line is are all the veins that are up to 1.5. And the third line are veins that are connected to refluxing, uh, reflux, axial reflux. That means that when, uh, when we have tools, and we must have tools like the ultrasound, which is uh, crucial. You need to have an ultrasound in your, uh, at your hand, like a stethoscope. We uh, understand that the, th the third line, where you have a deeper problem, it is uh, you need to do, perform a treatment on the varicose veins or peripheral veins. And looking on the other, other way, if we have simple telangiectasia, which is uh, the middle row or the right row where you have the green part there painted, and you have uh, a feeder vein, the augmented reality is the best tool for that. But of course, ultrasound and visualization is, uh, can also help. Well, this book is, is uh, a patient guide to phlebology. It's from the ACP, American College of Phlebology, telling about spider veins. And it's interesting to see, or, or sad to see maybe, that it's written that if you have spider veins, you will continue to develop new ones throughout life. The treatment does not keep the new spider veins from coming, from forming. Many people have this done once a year, so their legs look clearer for summer. This is written, and, and this is information for patients. I think that this is truly misleading. And the worst is that this, this book is, is uh, from 2012 and it's still being sold. It is uh, for members is $10, but if you go to the Amazon, it's $7.77. Okay, but anyway, uh, I truly disagree on that concept of improving the veins for the summer. And Clax is made for the scores two to six. And here are some results. From eight years, after eight years, the patient uh, doesn't have the problem anymore. Her legs improved and, and looks rejuvenated. And by looking with augmented reality, you can see even a better image where you see that the, the problem, the, the root of the problem, the feeder veins are not there anymore. 
Here, another uh, patient that we show a lot. And on the, on the left, we see a before and after, three years. And Marcelo did this wonderful uh, uh, layer from the raw camera and showing that if you look that here, okay, uh, that uh, the, we treated only the part of the reticular veins that are dilated. All the rest, they, are, they, are not, they are, were not treated, and also they are not visible by the ultrasound, by the vein viewer, or the augmented reality. Well, the same patient, after that treatment, she came back, she stayed four years without coming, and she came back with no summer treatment. It means four years, no treatment. And here's a big sequence of that. Seven years after, she came to, on the right, is she came to, to, to have clock session. And look how younger her legs look after seven years. Today, I decided to put the whole sequence so that you can see the whole leg. It's truly improved. And even though she came to improve her legs, her legs appear much better than they were before seven years earlier. Well, this is the same patient uh, looking from the back, the panoramic photograph. Also, it's a great improvement. And well, Albernaz has explained a lot about the laser, and I will talk a, lot, a little bit. And we need to, to understand that the six, six millimeter spot size is not focused on the depth. It will treat every single vein through the, since it's absorbed, it starts to be absorbed reflected, not so much because it's perpendicular, and the refraction will, will form a cone, inverted cone of energy. And this inverted cone of energy is a little bit smaller than the six millimeter spot size. And what is important on that is that when we do the procedure, we cannot do like this. This is incorrect. We need to uh, overlap so that we can cook the vein. And in fact, we do multiple passes. It's not related with the Audi, Audi logo, okay? And uh, here, the cooling also is really important. Uh, we, we use pre, parallel, and post cooling. This, is, this will help for skin protection, pain reduction, and vein contraction. And when we start sclerotherapy, we need to have the vein prepared. That's why we cook the vein. That's just right. And here, we had, uh, we had too much energy, maybe too much pain. We need to cook not so much and fast. Before the, the swelling begins, we need to do the sclerotherapy. And why dextrose, dextrose 75? Because it's completely safe and it's strong, like the, the, its osmolarity, like the salt can keep cod from being rotten for months just because they take out the, uh, the water, and that's what dextrose will do. And when it gets in, uh, diluted into, into the blood, it's uh, something that we have. There's zero chance of anaphylaxis. Not, to, rem not to, to forget the chance of skin ulcer that is zero as well, because of that it was said here by Fabricio. Then we perform the sclerotherapy after the laser, and the vein will disappear. Well, the data that we have is poor, really poor, and that's why we have Alan Davis and all this wonderful team here to help us to improve this data. And, but the, the, what we get here is, uh, I presented at Sharing Cross, which I, I highly recommend going to the Congress, one of, my, in my opinion, one of the best Congress in the world. Uh, we evaluate those patients, and the, the rate of complications is really, really low. And performing CLATS, we, we did a uh, CLATS DIP training yesterday, is really easy because the laser, you don't need to understand the laser, just cook the vein with a simple setting and then you perform your sclerotherapy with dextrose. Well, then this uh, patient came, as I said in the beginning, she came, we back, and then she decided to treat after summer, after losing a summer, and then we were able to put her from nine, from nine to one, 
and our score is not uh, to substitute CAP, it's a different score. And then she came back four years later, and short story long, she was score two. And Clax has been doing, uh, is uh, being performed, it started, I invented Clax uh, uh, more than one decade ago. Some crazy guys started to follow me, and then now uh, we have uh, Clax around the world. I'd like to thank you. We're going to discuss a lot more, but one important message that I want to leave is the present is telling, but the future will give evidence that we don't have yet. Thank you very much.